Uh, this year is the Dickens Bicentenary and across the city we are celebrating this. The Portsmouth festivities which takes place every summer in the city, the grammar school is always heavily involved in this. Now in the arts department at Portsmouth Grammar School we have a, an established artist in residence programme and one of our previous teachers, Christine Derry, who has with, worked at the school for over 20 years, is a ceramicist and we felt this was a perfect opportunity to ask her to come in to work with our pupils given that she herself has an interest in Dickens in her own work. And also there is a, a, a striving department to relaunch ceramics as a discipline. So we asked her to come in and she was more than happy to come in and work with our year nine pupils. There's nearly 90 of them working on the project with her at the moment. Well, I love Charles Dickens' books. I think his, his stories are amazing and his descriptive powers are amazing. And I was really taken with the idea of this little boy who walks into a room, a dark room, lit only with candles to find this cadaverous woman sitting there all dressed in lace and, and the cobwebs and everything else. And it just... As, a, as an artist, it intrigued me, and the description is very, very vivid. The first thing I needed was a wedding dress, so I trawled the charity shops in Portsmouth, and then I went to Fareham, and I think there were about 20 charity shops in Fareham, and it was the penultimate one, the Deborah uh, charity, and uh, I then met Deborah Barber-Taylor there, who very kindly found uh, this lovely wedding dress at the back of the shop. We support people with epidermolosis bullosa, which is a genetic skin condition. Um, we provide welfare nurses in the community. We have um, research centres and we also have specialist units at Great Ormond Street, Birmingham Children's Hospital and St Thomas's Hospital. So as we are the, the, the face of um, Deborah um, on the high street, we then provide that support by raising funds. The children are going to be working on curiosities from uh, Dickens and they're going to choose an item from one of the books, for instance, the gloves of Miss Havisham, uh, just by, by way of an example, um, and they'll create a box that the books, the, uh, the gloves might have come in, um, and then it, they will be labelled up with a passage from the book, um, and uh, like a museum. It's, we're, we're trying to create a museum with ceramic pieces. I'm doing a circular box um, based on the theme of the dog's collar from Oliver Twist, Bullseye's uh, dog's collar. And I'm just doing the inside of the lid at the moment. I know Harry's got a really nice bit of driftwood he's used there. It's a good bit of idea. And uh, quite a few square boxes and different ideas. They were a little slow getting started, but now they have understood the concept. They're really going ahead very, very quickly, and some of them are producing some really nice pieces. I mean, they've actually got the, the idea now, and uh, they're doing very well, actually. We'll have an exhibition uh, of my work and the children's work, and I think um, all the art teachers are going to do a collaborative tile piece for an exhibition in the cathedral uh, for the festivities on, in 26th of June.